countries in the South Pacific where the average sea level is 10 feet above sea level or whatever it is. You're going to lose these countries if you keep melting our 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 um, ice caps. Uh, the, the, uh, not the ice caps because that would include a north and there's no land in the north. So uh, the glacier ice, that's land-based ice, right? Because any ice that's in the water floating – that can melt and it's not going to change the water level. Mm. So oh, okay. it's why you can do this experiment. It's really cool. Fill up your glass, put some, a few cubes of ice in a glass of water. Fill the glass up as much as you possibly can without spilling it. And the ice is bobbing above that level, okay, because ice is about 10% buoyant on that. About 10% of an ice cube will be lifted above. This, this, is, the, this is the iceberg equation, right? Mm. All right? That's the tip of the iceberg. Well, you see the 10% above and 90% is not visible to you. This is, by the way, I don't want to get to too many off-ramps here, but that's one of, the, one of the things that they did right in Titanic. Okay? If you look at the earliest Titanic movie that was in black and white, they see this huge iceberg on the horizon and, then it, and they can't swear away from it because, it, oh my gosh, it doesn't have to, no, no. The iceberg that cuts the bottom of your boat is a little bit of ice sticking out above the water because 90% of it is underwater. And that's where the damage occurs. And in the James Cameron Titanic, the iceberg that they hit above water was looks like a little chunk of ice. And, oh, that couldn't hurt anything. All the damage was underwater. Anyhow, so back to this. So do this experiment and then let the glass sit there and let the ice melt. And the water level will stay the same. Because when ice melts, it gets takes up lower volume than it was when it became ice, mm. and that's why pipes break. I thought pipes break just because the water expands. Yeah, I just described that in the opposite direction. Oh, oh, so because <laughs> as it freezes, it. But I didn't know it gets larger. That's what expansion means. What right. kind of what, what's with your vocabulary here? Right. No, but I'm saying like. No, no, like right, right. So, so your ice cube is sitting ten percent. Your ice cube is sitting ten percent above the water level, and it right. melts and becomes water. The water takes up ninety percent of the volume of the ice. Right. So that just melts back into the water, and it doesn't overflow, even though it was sticking above the water line when you had the glass. So, so now let's do pipes. the opposite. Okay. There's water in the pipes. Right. Oh, can I tell you something that might blow your mind? No. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> <laughs> is that allowed? I don't know. How many times is your mind? You, at least once a day. Yeah, at least once a day. You need your mind blown, okay? Here's how it works. Okay. Uh, so let's put water in the pipes, okay? Um, and then the temperature drops. Now, pipes have a certain strength. Right. Copper pipes, you, you know, they're rigid, now okay? I grew up around breaking pipes. But, okay, so now watch. Massachusetts. So the water's in there, and now the temperature begins to drop, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the water wants to turn to ice, but it can't because the pipe is containing it. So it just sits there, okay, at 32 degrees as water, even though the temperature outside is dropping below 32 degrees, okay? And it still sits there, gets to 30 degrees, 29. The pipe is squeezing the attempt of this water to become ice. Oh. And the act of squeezing it prevents the temperature from dropping. Okay? And you, the, as the temperature drops, depending on how strong the pipe is, and, and the temperature gradient across it, as the outside temperature continues, it gets to now 25 degrees. The pipe is still holding on to the liquid water. That, and it's still 32 degrees inside there. And it holds on to, and this keeps happening. And it keeps happening. You get a point where the pipe can no longer contain the water. And the water freezes spontaneously. It just goes right down to that temperature and the pipe is helpless in the face of this. So the point is the stronger the pipe is, the lower the temperature has to be outside for the freezing water to break it. So theoretically, if you had a pipe that was made of a stronger material than copper, you can get even lower than you that. You can get an even lower temperature. How low can you get? Uh... <sighs> Because when, when things freeze, they have to expand? So what? Uh, no, only when water freezes. Well, does why it, does water expand when it it's, 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 a, it's a remarkable fact about water that is shared by very few other ingredients. Most things, when they cool, they shrink, mm. as all men know. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, so most, most materials, because things cooler, the vibrating molecules uh, slow down and they take up less space. Water is the opposite of that. As it passes down through, so so 
I'm going to describe to you an extraordinary fact about water and why we're alive today. Okay? So watch. Let's take a lake that has fish in it. Okay? Temperature drops outside. And the lake slowly begins to get cooler because there's a ten- time lag between the air temperature and the waters. That's why the first freeze, the, w- the lake is still there. It's got to be cold longer. All right, so what happens? The water gets cold on the surface. Okay? And it begins to... Okay, the water gets cold on the surface and it begins to shrink. So that water falls... It shrinks. That makes it denser. It falls to the bottom. Fine. It does that down to about four degrees Celsius. As it goes from four degrees Celsius to zero degrees Celsius, the freezing point, it begins to expand and become less dense than the water. So now, as the water wants to actually freeze, it stays on top. When it does freeze, you freeze the top surface of the lake. Well, how about the water below it? It's insulated from the dropping air temperature, and the fish don't die. Imagine if ice were denser than water. What would happen? You'd freeze the top layer, it would sink. The bottom is frozen. Freeze the next layer, it sinks. And fish would be systematically forced to swim in shallower and shallower waters until they were all freeze-dried on the top surface of the lake. And all fishes would be dead every winter in every lake. I think it's fish. What? I think you're supposed to say fishes. Fishes is a, is a double plural. You could do that? Yeah. You never all heard fish fishes? would be dead? You never like heard? Like all deer? Would you say all deers? Well, because you, generally it's one, if you had multiple kinds of deer, yeah. Oh, so if you had like Sitka deer yeah, but, but and it's Yeah, but it's deer. rare that they're all in the same place. You generally oh, have one okay. kind of deer in one place. But if the ocean has many kind of fish in the same place. Oh, yeah. that's interesting. So you would say fishes. Fishes is, it's, 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 like, it's a, a double plural. Kinds. It's different kinds of plural fish. Oh. Yeah. Double blow my mind. No, you didn't know, you didn't you know that. You blew it again. Oh, no, no. I didn't know. I never fishes. thought about it that way. The many fishes in the, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so sorry. Fishes in the sea. Yeah, so- uh, multiple plurals of different How kinds cold of fish. How cold is it up to get where ocean water freezes? Because that's well, where it well, it's salt. Really it's salt weird. water. Do you have the what word you fishes up, up there? Some what weird anomaly that happened where there was too or too little oxygen in the water, and somehow the frozen fish got pushed out in a wall of ice. This is South Dakota a couple Whoa. years ago. Oh, so there's too little oxygen. Because I don't know. Of, I can't explain that. I don't yeah, know what happened uh, there. If you look at the else, but. If you look at the green in the water, most likely it's algae. So that happens with certain lakes that get polluted with certain types of algae. Right, you can kill the lake by, yes. by doing that. You can kill yeah. the lake. And, well, you get it in the ocean, too. You get these zones. But, but that, I don't see how you get frozen fish, though. That's incredible. But, but you scroll. Yeah. So, no, 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 stop. Go back up. Yeah. Scroll down so you could read it. F- f- fish frozen a wall of ice in South Dakota's mm-hmm. Lake Andes National Wildlife Refuge. That's incredible, man. Is that a video, Jamie? Uh, yeah, I think it's just the picture, though. I, I, I God, don't, that's I, don't I don't know how they froze because they can just swim to where it's not frozen. So I'd have to well, the, I'd have to do more homework on that one to see what what caused that. Wow. So so, so my, my point is because of this property of water, how weird that ice floats. It insulates the bottom layers of the lake, and fish can survive over the winter. That's because how igloos of this. work too, right? Insulates so you can inside you get a, like a nice uh, little warm spot. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean if, if you put a barrier between you and the changing elements outside, that's basically an insulating layer. Have you ever uh, got-